outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at Cheney University. We're talking to head men's basketball coach Dominique Stevens here at the Net Scouts Basketball Exposure Camp 2009. Coach, thanks for uh, having us here at Cheney. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the university? Uh, yes, uh, Cheney is a historical black college, uh, the oldest, founded in 1837. Um, a lot of history through Cheney. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the late Ed Bradley graduated from uh, Cheney. Um, the late uh, Andre Waters graduated from Cheney. Um, and, uh, and a host of the familiar and, and a lot of people from Philadelphia, a lot of people from Coatesville and, and the Chester area. Um, it's a lot of history here at, at Cheney University. Very prominent university, that's outstanding. How about, uh, and it's beautiful out here by the way, we drove out here in uh, just a gorgeous setting out here. Yes, uh, yes. Now, you know, you mentioned the university and its history, but what about basketball? I mean, good grief, uh, in the men's and the women's side. Just talk, talk yes, us through yes. that a little bit. Uh, Cheney basketball programs, both men's and women, have a lot of rich history. Um, of course, you have John Cheney, who started his first uh, ten-year uh, term at Cheney University before he went to Temple University, and of course Vivian Stringer. Uh, at that time, the women's team were, were Division One, the only Division One sport. We went to the Final Four um, in NCAA Division One, and of course the men's team won the national championship under John Cheney. And then Coach Cheney, as many people know, is a Hall of Fame guy and went on to Temple and great yes. things. So here in the Philly area, his, his name means an awful lot. And now uh, you're following in his footsteps a little bit. Do you still talk to Coach Cheney? Uh, yes, I do. I'm a, a close friend, uh, a friend that, that uh, likes what I'm doing out here. Um, he has a very close relationship with my sister, who is the women's basketball coach. Yeah, talk to us about that, Coach. You know, you were mentioning the women's program with C. Vivian Stringer, obviously yes. very successful in her own right. You know, she had an All-American here from Cheney yes, as did. well. Yes, but on did. that all on that All-American team, we had a few other popular names. Yes, uh, of course, uh, Yolanda Laney, who graduated from Cheney. Uh, also, my sister Merlin Stevens, who graduated from Temple, and of course uh, Cheryl Miller yep. from USC and. Paula McGee from USC. Uh, that was quite an all-star yes, team. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, your sister played at Temple here yes, in Philly, but now she's out here at Cheney, and she's the women's coach, so we've got brother and sister coaches. That's That's got to be a great relationship uh, and a unique situation for you. Yes, it's, it's, it's very rare. Um, we assist each other a lot. Um, not only am I the head coach for the men, but I wind up being an assistant coach for females, and vice versa for her also. So it's, it's a family atmosphere. That's uh, great. Both units get along. Um, a, a, a very good situation. And I and I just recently saw where you just completed your basketball camp and it was the Stevens and Stevens basketball camp. Yes, so that, that, yes. That's great. Hey, uh, take us back. Um, you know, I know from talking to you and talking to a few other people around Philly last night, uh, tell us about your playing days in high school and kind of some of the history of, of, of you know, the guys you played with. I uh, played with a very good high school basketball team. Um, played with uh, Hank Gathers and Bo the late great Hank Gathers and Bo Kimball. Um, also, Doug Overton. Uh, we played together during my senior year. Hank and Bo were juniors in the 11th grade, and Bo Doug Overton was a ninth grader yeah. that played varsity. Um, a very tremendous team. Uh, I think we went 24 and 4. We lost in the championship to Ben Franklin that year. We had. Pooh Richardson that played on uh, UCLA. Sure. Um, and then the following year, during Hank and Bo senior year, they won the championship. Okay. And a lot of people obviously know Hank and Bo from going to USC, ended up at Loyola Marymount, yes. and all the, the great things they did there, and then the very unfortunate incident with Hank. But uh, talk about Doug Overton a little bit, the, the younger guy. He went on and played too. Yes. Uh, in Philadelphia, it's, it's known. You have great potential when you make varsity in the ninth grade. Yeah. And Doug is one of those guys at that time playing four years of varsity was unheard of. Um, so you knew, you always kind of knew that Doug had a, a bright, promising future. Uh, he, he wound up playing at LaSalle and then, you know, played NBA with a whole lot of, you know, with a few That's NBA great. teams. So that was quite a high school team. Now, you went on and played in college, enjoyed a successful career, and here at Net Scouts Basketball, we do a lot of scouting for college and pro teams, well, college players and professional teams around the world, and uh, help players find opportunities to play around the world, and you happen to play in the Philippines. You want yes. to talk to us about that experience? Yes, I did. Uh, 
Philippines. Um, I had a short term there, did, did one season in the Philippines. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, it, it made me realize that, <laughs> it made me realize that, you know, there is strong basketball all over the country. Um, a lot of people talk a lot about the states and, and the competition in the United States, but there are a lot of countries with talent is very high and is compatible with a lot of the, some places that you play in the United States. So, yeah. Um, I enjoyed that term. Um, it was a, a great uh, cultural experience. Um, just a great experience overall. Yeah. So you think for what we're doing here at Net Scouts, helping kids to try to experience that kind of thing, that that's something that uh, kids these days would want to do too. Yes. Um, I, I think it's very positive. Um, going through Net Scouts. Uh, and the type of situation that Net Scouts provide, whereas you don't have to really be committed to an agent, and you're still able to be seen all over the all over the all over the world. Yeah, that's great. Now, listen, uh, you know, you play professional basketball, but I understand there's a, a junior in the family, Dominique Curry, uh, is an outstanding three-sport athlete, and I hear he he may be uh, pounding on some NFL doors here one of these days. Can you talk us about your son? Uh, yes, uh, Dominique Curry, of course, big time wide out. He uh, played three years at Cheney University as a wide out. Made rookie of the year in football. Um, three times all conference in football. All conference in basketball. All conference in track. Wow. Uh, big time athlete. Uh, 6'4, 215 pounds. Wide receiver. Uh, yes, wide out. You know. And he's he's going to play his final year at? At, at California, PA. Okay. Uh, he's going there for grad school. Okay, great. He's a, Got his a education. Guy. Yes, he has Boy, well-rounded guy. Three yeah. sports, yeah. academic. That's that's yeah. phenomenal. We're, we're going to look for him on the NFL scene here in a year. I, I, I just heard that the NFL draft is moving prime time next year, so maybe we're going to hear his name announced one of these days. That would be great. Make you a proud father. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Now, talk to us about your team. You guys are coming off a successful season, and uh, as we head into next year, what can you tell us about Cheney? Yes, um, uh, last year we had a very good year. We were able to beat uh, Division One Delaware State. Um, we wound up 18 and nine. Great. Uh, the conference uh, went to the final four in the championship in our conference. Uh, Great. We lost again and we won the PSAC that year. Okay. Uh, very um, senior, mature type team. Yep. Um, this year to come, I have some good freshmen I'm bringing in. I'm a great group of returning guys that understand the new system. And just looking forward to next year. That's great. Well, listen, Coach, we really appreciate all your hospitality and everything here, and best of luck to you here at Cheney. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.